In today's video, I'll talk about the two different sectors that stood out today when the markets were selling off. These two sectors gave us trade opportunities that we could recognize, take advantage of, and we had an edge with probabilities on our side. Now I'll start first with reviewing our 15-day volatility analytics. If we come inside of our stock volatility box platform, at the bottom, we can see here the past 15 days with regards to volatility. There's a few histograms that stand out. Jan 3rd, where we had a nice peak, Jan 6th, where we had a nice peak, and Jan 9th. However, after Jan 9th, we've really seen that volatility become muted for the past 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 days. That changed today. Today, we saw volatility come right back inside of the market, and it picked up. In fact, today, we had 115 different trades that presented themselves off of our daily volatility box models. On the hourly models, way more than just that 115 trade opportunities. If I come in, the daily trade here is where that 115 comes from. For those of you that are active day traders throughout the day, you can also use the hourly tab here, where if you come in and take a look, way more than 115 trades that presented themselves. For today's video though, we're going to focus on just the daily trade, but for the sectors we talk about, you can also find more opportunities on the hourly tab. Now there are two sectors today that stood out and both of these sectors hit our live scanner more or less at the same time period. The first was XLU, which gave us a long side trade opportunity. And the second was XLP, same idea here, a long side trade as well. So let's start by reviewing these two sectors and then we can go a little bit deeper into the top holdings of these sectors, which also appeared in this list of 115. So coming inside of our platform, let's start with XLU here first. In XLU, we had price action sell off where it hit our volatility box zones. This is where XLU hits our live scanner. Once it hits our scanner, we had two Keltner channel wedges. That's these two right here. We had one oversold signal with the edge signal confirmation, that's the green arrow. And then we had a momentum cross, which is this blue dot, which is nothing more than the three EMA crossing above the eight. It's a way to make sure you're on the right side of shorter term momentum. Now we can see once we had those three pieces, very quickly here, XLU had a nice rally, which of course into the close, we had a bit of a sell off, but really from this period is what we're looking at. We have an edge once price hits our volatility zone. We know that we're expecting volatility here to reverse. We have an opportunity. We're waiting for the exact setup. In this case, we had one, two Keltner channel wedges, one edge signal, one momentum cross. Now let me show you uh, XLP next so you can contrast that a little bit. XLP, you can see a little bit more volatility. We go deeper inside of our volatility box clouds, but we have the same overall idea here. One, two, three Keltner channel wedges. One, two, three as well the second time in the second cluster. We had an oversold signal as well inside of XLP. And we had the momentum cross with that three crossing above the eight EMA, which gave you the sign that, hey, shorter term momentum on your side. Now, if we take a look at the end of day selling in XLP, XLP gave back not only the move it made, but it went even outside of our clouds here going below this previous pivot low. Contrast that with XLU. XLU, while we do go below the low, we're still inside of our volatility box zones. So between the two sectors here, XLU, a little bit less volatility compared to XLP. So right off the bat here, we could create some sort of a ranking system where XLU had slightly less volatility when compared to XLP. Now let's dive into each one of these two's top holdings that also appeared in this list of 115. Now for XLP, towards the end of the day, we had Colgate Palmolive. We also had Coca-Cola right down here, long side trade setup. And one more that also stood out was Altria Group, which Altria Group, you can see, breached our conservative volatility box models. So without even going to charts here, we know out of the three stocks that I just mentioned, Altria Group, the most volatility. So let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these three now on our charts comparing and contrasting the volatility inside of the top holdings with that inside of the actual sector. Now I'll start first with Coca-Cola and we can then make our way down. Now inside of Coke, the setup came around the same time as XLP, 
but you can see here how the volatility is different. XLP prices inside of our volatility box clouds contained. This is taking place really, let's call it around the 10 o'clock mark, 10 o'clock Pacific. Contrast that with Coca-Cola, same 10 o'clock Pacific time period. We go even deeper outside of the clouds. So more selling inside of Coke compared to XLP as the sector. Same exact setup though that we just discussed. And I've also documented this in other videos if you'd like to see more examples. One, two, three, four, five, six Keltner channel wedges telling you that now we're extended using both volatility and the Keltner channel set to a factor of 3.0. We then had two oversold signals, one and two. And then we had our momentum cross here with the three crossing above the eight. And you can see the momentum come right back into play inside of Coca-Cola. Now, same time period, if we contrast this with Altria Group, you should notice the drastically different volatility here. Altria Group, we broke outside of the aggressive models and we broke outside of the conservative models as well at that same time period. This is still the same 10 o'clock AM Pacific, but here we can see way more Keltner Channel wedges, 10 plus in this case, compared to just a handful in XLP, compared to the six in Coke. We had the two oversold signals, and by the time we saw the momentum set up, very little heat on this trade inside of Altria Group, also the one that was most extended in terms of the selling activity to the downside. So again, if we try to rank this, so far we have XLP ranked a little bit higher compared to Coca-Cola, where there is a little bit uh, more volatility compared to XLP. And if we then put in Altria Group, that would be at the bottom of the list with the most volatility we're seeing, but also the highest probabilities with regards to breaching the conservative box. Now, the last stock we have is Colgate Palm Olive, which should show you a different volatility structure here, dramatically less volatility compared to any of the markets we've talked about. If we remember inside of XLP, that same 10 o'clock mark, we've already breached our volatility box zones. Take a look at what's happening inside of Colgate Palm Olive at the same time. We've not breached even the clouds, much less even tagged them. So that tells you inside of XLP here, Colgate Palm Olive, out of the stocks we've talked about, had the least volatility. In fact, we only saw that breach into the close of the day with the second sell off that we saw, the second leg move down lower. So that's XLP. Now, if we come back inside of our scanner, we can take a look at the top holdings inside of XLU that also triggered on our scanner. Now in XLU, there was one, and that's right here, and that was Excel Energy. Same idea, aggressive long, and if I come inside of our chart here, XEL, you should notice the same setup. Right around the 10 o'clock price period, price breaches our volatility box zones. We then go outside, one, two, three, four, five Keltner Channel wedges, one oversold signal, and the momentum cross, which after that, very little heat on the trade, and after the momentum cross here, you can see how momentum comes into play inside of Excel Energy as well. So hopefully through today's video, you understood the comparison and contrast between two different sectors, XLU and XLP. And we also started to understand how each one of these sectors uh, presented themselves on our live scanner, both in the form of the actual sector, but also some of their top holdings. Again, many more names you can go through here. Some fairly large names that hit the daily volatility box models today. Caterpillar, uh, Coinbase, CarMax, a lot of different tickers. And if you'd like to see more opportunities, switch over to the hourly tab where you can find many more here as well. The live scanner is really our secret tool here. It's a custom scanner we've built. And I like to think of it as having your own trading assistant that goes out into the market and is scanning new setups for you and finding new setups for you every two seconds. That's pretty powerful, and hopefully today's video helps show you how to take advantage of that information. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I'll see you in the next update.